Hey, greetings, fellow card farmers. Just thought I'd uh, do a quick uh, tabletop showcase of the cards that I'm going to send into PSA. PSA's got a special running right now of $14.99 for 50s era cards. So I thought I'd take advantage of that. And these cards I have here are pickups over the last couple of months. So uh, beginning with chronologically here, 1951 Yogi Berra, Larry Berra from... Uh, St. Louis, Missouri area. So it's got a little tiny paper loss right there on the back. It kind of shows through to the front. I don't know what PSA will do with that, but we'll see. A couple 1952 cards. This Johnny Hop card has a little bit of a smudge and paper loss there too. But they're 1952 and figured what the heck, I'd get them graded. And then even though I finished my completely graded 1953 set, I still had some, uh, oh, some cards here that, uh, extras, I guess you might say. And I thought I'd go ahead and get them graded. They're, they're getting so difficult to find these days. And to find them graded and in good grade is even more difficult. Burkowski, Growth, Harry Dorish, Forrest Main. Henry Foyles. Henry Foyles is really difficult to find graded or ungraded. I'm not sure why, but when I see it, I snatch it up. Same with Willie Miranda. Next row over here, one more from 1953. Joe Coleman, another high number. And then, uh, at least for me, it's a local guy, Richie Ashburn. He's from Tilden, Nebraska. My high school used to play Tilden in football. Thought it'd be fun to get that one graded. 1958 Beta Pinson, if you've watched some of my other videos, I talk about Beta Pinson and my feelings about him joining the Hall of Fame. So, uh, again, I pick up those cards whenever I can. Stan Hack, Chicago Cubs, 1955. 1956, Jack Harshman. Sorry about that sticker on there. I couldn't peel it off and didn't want to toss away the card safer. <laughs> Uh, Al Rosen and uh, Jimmy Persall. And Jimmy Persall's got a very unique and interesting story. Um, he went through a lot of mental health issues when he was playing for the Boston Red Sox. His roommate, Ted Lipsio, would often stand up for him. Um, his other teammates and staff and coaches would get frustrated to the point where they'd want to fight Persall and Pearsall was rather accommodating, but Ted Lipsio would try to intervene as much as he could before Pearsall ended up going to a hospital to address those mental health needs. He was an outstanding center fielder. Um, doesn't get enough, probably, credit for his defense. In addition, another 1956 is Jim Delsing. This is going to this is going to be an interesting card. I had gotten this one from. Greg Moore's cards, and they had, I think, I have to look here, I guess, real quick. I think they graded it as a, maybe an air mint. No, they didn't. Uh, excellent to excellent mint. But I noted, I felt like it was going to be a PSA 4, and the reason for that is this giant printing error that runs down the card. So I'll see where that ends up. 1955, Ken Boyer. I showed this card in my last video along with these two Bob serves. Um, but I wanted to get these all graded as well. So I may subtract or add a couple more cards. Kind of depends on what I'm thinking that day when I do send them in. But 10 card minimum, I believe. So anyway, I appreciate you folks uh, joining me. And uh, I hope you all... Continue to grow your collections, fellow far card farmers. All right. We'll see you guys later.